Ron Kyer is one of the leading business development and turnaround specialists in America and has helped top organizations generate over half a billion dollars in increased sales revenue. That's why CEOs have lined up to endorse his newest book, Lead, Sell, or Get Out of the Way around it's easy to see there are many businesses offering the same products and services to consumers it makes a difficult choice for customers at stores restaurants and other businesses but it also makes it difficult for those businesses to get ahead in the market Ron Carr is a business expert who joins us now to tell them how they can do it yeah. and uh, good morning to good you morning. I understand you are called the question man right how did you get that well basically in my experience is I found that the questions we ask to the process. It's asking the right questions, asking enough questions, hearing the responses, acknowledging them, and acting on them. And you've in the past. Give us a couple of examples. One client hired me for an 18-month intervention where they wanted to reposition themselves with a major customer, and it resulted in a 10-year contract worth over $200 million. We basically rewrote how they do business in that industry. Okay, now there are a lot of business people who are watching and from the competition. What do you say? Well, differentiation today is hard to do by the actual products or services. Everything looks the same. You know, maybe 20 years ago, if you were selling a mutual fund at a 20% rate, it was unknown to people. But now, and of a rate of return. So where does the differentiation come in? It comes in the actual customer contact. How do I position myself with you when we're trying to sell or service you? Can you give us some specific tips? Sure. Most of the sales reps will start asking you status-based questions such as what are you currently investing in, stocks and bonds? If we're motivated to answer my questions. Mm -hmm. And the answer is really not. Mm -hmm. But if I have money to provide for you in the future, now you're interested. So you say be more personable. Find out who the person is. Don't treat the person just as some stagnant customer, but find out who you're dealing find with. Find out who they are and where are they trying to get to. Because mm -hmm. that's the big Most companies today spend incredible amounts of money trying to market to new customers. But what they fail to realize is it costs a fraction of less of a dollar to market to existing clients, increasing their net worth. And GM did a study in March of 1993 where they found out that by the time an average American male walks into a showroom at 18 years of age, to the time they turn to be 60 years of age, they will have bought, purchase over $400,000 worth of products and services in cars and servicing. That's a lot of money. Now, if someone walks into your showroom and they look at you as a potential $400,000 relationship versus a $12,000 car, you're probably going to deal with them differently. Mm. Okay, now, suppose someone has a restaurant and they're pretty good. What would, you, what would your advice be to that restaurant owner? Well, you always got to be there with the customers. The, the thing is not to rest because someone says they had a great meal. Mm -hmm. You always want to find out from the customers, what else would you like to see to make it an experience you want to keep coming back to? We can always improve upon things to make it an, an incredible environment for our customers. We've got to keep keeping the taps on the pulse of our customers. So find out what their, their tastes are, what their likes and dislikes are. And also the environment of the restaurant, what they want to come into. And also, do you have to keep real good tabs on your employees? And is employee morale something that can affect? It's in the area of influence. Whoever you're trying to influence, you got to keep tabs on where these people are trying to get to. Mm -hmm. And if you can help them get there, you will be successful in your influence. All right.